Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another gameplay episode here on Metabros. I'm Moldy Potion. This is my bro, Metacrax. Hey, guys. And we are continuing to battle the Cosmic Spellbook versus the Flame Spirit. We These are just such good games, and there's a lot of tech and math involved, so we're kind of just crunching these, testing them in front of you so you guys can get an idea of how these play, and we can understand how to properly pilot them, because, man, one wrong move, and there goes the game of MetaZoo. That goddamn Morpheus on the... And field fuck face. <laughs> Sorry for starting off with so much swearing, go. kids. Cover the, anyway, starting with uh, positivity. Yeah, no. Um, we're getting great games, and I am loving that we are grinding one spell book because it's starting to become like autopilot. And when I rewatch our games, which I always do because small little things, thumbnails, and that, I'm seeing even more mistakes that I didn't notice in the moment. So I really want to get this to the point where I know exactly what to do every time. And I know wilderness here in a week is going to turn everything upside down and sideways, inside out. But for now, this is more the style that we play off camera, like mm -hmm. one spell book, grind, grind, grind. Yep. And uh, yeah, I know we'll be exploring a ton of new aura types next week. Multi aura spell books look like they're finally going to be viable with wilderness. So we will we will jump into that full force and then mm -hmm. hopefully find something specific to get grinding with that as well, because I think I've become a better player in the past week of playing one spell book than months of playing many well yeah yeah definitely learning how to pilot these properly is everything if you guys build the spell book and you try it out once or twice and you're like ah that didn't work try it keep trying it like yeah look definitely compare their spell book to other people's i think that's a great step is like okay well let's see what are other people who are running these R types what are they using and compare your spell book make some compromises between them but then test it a number of times like really because chances are the reason why it's not working right is because you're not doing things right you're playing things in the wrong order or whatever little things make a huge difference you know like you've seen us um do things like play first anniversary celebration and then our traits are gone and actually i used that improperly in one of our recent games i we forgot and brought out a reptoid ruler he still had fleet it's like nope you gotta you gotta keep track of all this stuff because it makes a huge difference in the in the end game and as the powerful peaceful once said the best player doesn't always win because there are so many variables and variations so mm -hmm. if you sit down in front of a live audience and lose every day for almost a year right here, don't give up. Right. Because if you just figure out how to play one spell book, you don't need to know the entire game of pages and mechanics and powers. Right. Well, you it, it helps. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like if you sit down and you let's say you win most of the games that you play in front of an audience online, like you win the vast majority of them. You, st you still should practice, and you still should keep learning. And with that, <laughs> uh, guys, before we get into the actual game, if you're enjoying the channel and you feel like supporting us and you happen to be shopping at Channel Fireball, a great way to do that is use the code METABROS with a Z at checkout. It will not cost you anything extra, but it certainly does help us big time. Absolutely. And if you love our content and you want to support, you can go to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. Sign up for any of those tiers. Merch giveaways are coming up. Art giveaways are coming up. Sketch cards are going out. We try to make it fun for you. You guys we answer all your questions and now i'm playing you guys on tts as well so any of the patrons big love to all of you if you'd like a slot and you'd like to play me in tts just shoot me a message and we will find out when it works for both of us i'm so, pretty much doing it all on weekdays at about uh well i guess i should give you like one of the standard times i'm doing it on weekdays at right about like five or six o'clock eastern time so just give me you know hit me up we can make it work with your schedule and get some games in and i'll even do some tutorials if you don't know how to play and you want to learn i'm happy to sit down on TTS and teach you how to play for sure. So who won between you and Dean from Australia? Dude, those were epic games. We were each they? took one and then I took the third. So it was, it was, I took the two out of three, but it was a light mirror match. Both Ooh. of us were playing a very similar spell book, Elementals, Okanto Dragon. I think really, and I think Dean would agree with me when I say this, I had an edge in that I was main decking Toxic Water, which is a lesson I just learned recently from playing on Caster Society and thinking... I just got to main deck this because it's too good against any spell book. And anytime somebody toxic waters me, I'm devastated. And so I want to be the one wreaking devastation. So I main decked to toxic water and it was the difference in our games. I mean, both of us were, it's funny how sometimes you both have our issues and you're not hitting your drops. That was happening a little bit, but we were at pretty even keel power levels until I started dropping toxic waters because then you can kill the light elementals. You can kill the dragons. It just kind of breaks 
brings everybody down to an even playing field, which tell me usually what, is not good. Tell me what toxic water is again. Toxic water is the water potion from Wilderness. It is a zero cost, like all potions are. You can run four per spell book. Target beastie loses all traits until the end of turn. That simple. So you can just... Boom, your light elemental no longer has spirit, and I'm going to kill it with one of my light elemental's tokens. Whoa. Or your dragon no longer has magic proof, flying, and no. fleet, and so I'm just going to eat it with, again, my tokens. Tokens eat everything, so as long as you just have the toxic water to bring things down, you can just crash tokens into it, as I like to say. How many are you allowed to have in a spell book? Four. Uh oh, I main deck three personally, and so, then I keep the fourth like just in case I really need it. There are now six opportunities, including first year anniversary, first anniversary celebration. Fuck me. Yes, <laughs> that and toxic water means there's six opportunities to nullify traits, which yep. means those beasties that were unblockable or magic proof or flying or spirit or everything that is a trait in that upper left hand corner. Yes. Pff, gone. Gone. And so, both are wow. spells that can be played in, or both are pages that can be played in any spell book because first anniversary is neutral. Toxic water is a potion, so you don't oh, need water cost. already to cast it. Yeah. Going to change the whole game. It's totally, it already is. Yep. It already is. I think it's going to slowly wow. awaken anti potion potion and people might have to actually start running it because they haven't yet. Never. I'm the only one who's run an anti potion potion You're and crazy. I don't, I don't currently run it right now. I ran, I tried it. It worked out a little bit. It helped me. But in the end, I was like, nah, toxic water is going to help me more. But you better believe that as this meta catches up and everybody starts playing toxic water and along with their lightning in a bottles, along with their smoky spirits, anti potion is going to start to have a place. But I think it's going to take a while for uh, it to actually be useful because right now it's not. It's never going to be useful. <laughs> It's a trick, says the guy who's going to get anti-potioned. <laughs> uh, hey, I don't care if you anti-potion me because a one-for-one one potion is a nullification, anti so we're equal. But anti-potion stops you from using those potions for the rest of the turn, so it really slows down the rollout. Yeah, I mean, still, uh, I would use whatever. I get it. We've talked about this off camera. With all that out of the way, elbow. Elbow. Cool. I will flip to see who goes first. Tails for our side. Heads for you, as usual, as always. Heads. That's a Hopkinsville goblin head. So take it away. All right. I will be going first. And although I did lose the last one. Oh, yeah. I guess you did. And huh? by the way, we're on game like. Yeah, we're on six. Like so many games yeah, right now. Yeah, we definitely lost count. So should we just keep doing the person who won uh, last? The other one goes first. Sure. <laughs> Thanks. So, since I just won since the, you lost go the flip. first because yeah, you yeah. lost the flip. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I'll let you have a free mulligan if you want. Oh, thanks. You give me some. I'll give you some. Okay. Get I'll the take best it. game we can. See if it makes a difference. I'll take it. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll play that. I'll wait for you to get your proper hand. By the way, guys, uh, if you're interested in picking up one of these play mats, we are putting another order in. And uh, if you happen to join our Patreon, you get your contribution in the Patreon off of the play mat. So if you're thinking about picking one up, uh, hit us up on Patreon, join. And you'll also be entered into the end of the month giveaways if you do it before the end of March. That is true. Um, all right, I'm going to keep my hand. Okay. Then I will place a flame into the arena. I'll generate one. Well, actually, I'll bookmark up to eight. Excuse me. Place mm -hmm. the flame down. Mm -hmm. Generate one to cast bookmark, allowing me to draw two more pages. Turn. Okay. I will bookmark a page. Let's bring a cosmic aura into the arena. And I will... Generate one to drop a blob. Do I even need to read it at this point? But I will, just in case we got somebody new. It's a beastie alien. You can have six per spell book. Costs one cosmic. Has 35 life points. Gets plus 10 life points from the stars terra, the forest terra, and plus 10 if you're wearing any white clothing. Pasty menace is the attack. It deals X damage where X is this page's current LP. As you guys can see, I have some white bones on my Wendigo, and white clothing would be on my fourth wall. So Kinderhook blob has 45 life points. And I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. Place a spirit aura into the arena. Generate one. 
to cast Pyrokinetic Blast, dealing 25 damage to Kinderhook. Then we flip to see if Kinderhook is either burned or confused. In this case, he is confused, which is what I prefer. So Kinderhook, if and when he attacks, will have to flip a coin. Uh, well, my brother will for Kinderhook. And if successful, Kinderhook's attack will go as normal. But if they fail, if they get a Tails, Kinderhook's attack damage will be dealt directly to Kinderhook. And I will also generate one and fireball you for 25 damage okay directly and then i'll roll for your burn one <sighs> perfect turn perfect bookmark page you awaken win bring an aura in the arena hopefully not uh i will generate two for a dark watchers dark watchers is a beastie alien you can have three per spell book costs two cosmic aura has 40 life points has the spirit trait so can't be targeted with attacks gets a 20 damage bonus at dusk and at dawn this page cannot attack fatigued beasties that is very key and a big you know nerf but at the same time, this card is very useful because Spatial Curator is its power. Reveal the top three pages of your spellbook. If a Terra or Aura page was revealed, place it in your chapter. Place the remaining pages on top of your spellbook in any order. Dazed and Confused is the attack. It inflicts Paralyze, Confuse, and deals 10 base damage. So Dark Watchers are out. Um, I'm just going to attempt to swing at you with Blob for 20. Okay. We'll see if he succeeds. Come on, buddy. He, he does. He did. We got 20 through. And I take 20 for burn, and I'll pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. Please. Oh, I don't take 20 for burn, because you only burned me for one. You're correct. <laughs> yeah, no, you weren't burned. Yeah, exactly. So that one worked out. I'll generate one, and I will pyrokinetic blast the Dark Watchers. Okay. And then we will flip again to see if he is burned. He is burned. Uh, burned or confused, that is. What is this one stuff? Yeah. <laughs> did you do something to this overnight? Yes, that's yes, I did. Turn. Okay. Um, bookmark on a page. Awakening. <clears throat> I will. Hmm. I will use Dark Watcher's ability to reveal the top mm -hmm. three pages. Hey, look, there's already one. Oh, oh two. My goodness. Okay. Did you get both um, of those or one of those? I get only one of them. Okay. But I will put it in my hand, and mm -hmm. I'll put the other two on top in any order. All right. So we got to remember, lightning the bottle is next. And I will bring that aura into the arena for turn. I will... <laughs> I will generate one and contract another blob. And I will attempt to swing again with this blob. Let's okay. go, buddy. You got this. Focus. Nope. Killed himself. He killed himself. All right, pass turn. Would it be a better play for you to not attack with him and basically wait for a tribal war cry? Uh, no, because he's still going to kill himself. Oh, because it's going to add more. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, you're right. that's, the, that's you, the math with blob. You really need a uh, bubbling brew to just get him out of it. Yeah. Oh, there's, wait. There's no, no way. that won't get him out of it either. No. There's Kinder no Hook way to get blob out of confuse um, without, without killing him. him killing himself or you getting the right flip because yep. his life points are his damage. Good call. Unless you... Would, the only way I can think of is I'd attack with blob and then I would paralyze him. What? But then I think that... Then he wouldn't deal damage. So then he wouldn't... He would deal zero damage. That would be a question for MZOs. We'll I wonder if I would still flip for confuse if, yeah. a, if a beast is paralyzed. Anyway. I was just thinking if there was a smarter way to play. It was one of the things, but got it. Bookmark, awaken, and generate one to, once again, power kinetic blast the other Kinderhook blob. Okay. Flipping to see if he's burned or confused. He is confused. Okay. And turn. All right. Bookmark on a page. Hmm. Awakening. <laughs> I will use Dark Watchers yep. to reveal. Lightning the bottle. Oh, we just drew the Top lightning the bottle, guys. I will take another one. Take another one. It's going to have two lighting the bottles. Uh-oh. I'll drop a cosmic aura. I will... Hmm. <laughs> I will... Generate four. And contract an Enfield monster. 
Enfield Monster is a beastly <laughs> alien, three per spellbook, costs one neutral, three cosmic aura, has 75 life points. While Enfield is in the arena, it must be chosen as the target for all effects, attacks, and pages that can legally target it. If there are multiple pages in the arena with this effect, any of them may be the target. Toe gouge is the attack. It deals 40 damage plus an extra 20 damage to water uh, to dark pages. And I will attempt to attack you with my blob for 20. Okay. Because why not? Nah. Another blob mm-hmm. dies. Yep. All right, guys. Enfield fuckface is in the arena. We must remember. We have to remember. target him with everything. <laughs> Dolores? Is that what yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Or Lion King. Or Bernard, technically. Yeah. Oh, Lion King. Yeah, Mufasa. Yeah. Remember who you are. Right. Um, all right, so I bookmark and whew, I am not sure what to do. I'm going to do something I don't like. I always love that. What is it? Timon is like, <laughs> what does he say? Or Pumba says like, I heard the stars were giant burning balls of gas that are like <laughs> millions, of miles, millions away. of miles away. And Timon's like, no, no, it's just holes poked in a blanket. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, what a good movie. Um, oh, gosh. And Jeremy Irons is Scar. Oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah. All right. Be prepared. All right. <laughs> I'm going to do something I don't like. I got a piezo bird in my hand, guys. Okay? I got a gassy and Dethea in my hand. Ultimate combination. I got a father, barbecue, revolutionary in my hand. These are my three power beasties. If he new beginnings me, or more appropriately, new years new beginnings me, right? Mm-hmm. Those all get sent to the cemetery. It's true. So I was just really hoping I would hit an extra aura and begin to start to roll these beasties out. However... I didn't, and I can't take the chance that he does that, or we don't win the game. Which means, with all that said, I generate one flame, and I new beginnings myself. Okay. Not New Year's, but new beginnings. So I'm going to shuffle these pages back in, hoping to get them later when I can actually cast them, and not have them all in my hand at once, where I'm scared now, you know? I told you this. Yeah. I'm terrified when I see a great hand. I actually don't want everything there. Yeah. I want it to spread out. No, that's a good move. I almost played New Beginnings, New Year's New Beginnings last turn, but I had an Enfield, so I was like, it's more important that he hits the arena right now, oh but I was holding the New Year's New Beginnings, Bro. and the more pages you have, the more I want to cast it. Exactly. Totally. And I would have been sitting on those beasties until I hit three aura, four aura, five aura, you know, for Barbecue mm-hmm. Sam. I thought that's way too long to wait. Mm-hmm. Just didn't want to do it. Um, okay, so they are shuffled back in. Hopefully we'll not pull them all back in our hand. One would be fine, and an extra aura. But really what we need is three fireballs or three pyrokinetic blasts. We must end the end field's life immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will place a spirit aura in the arena. Hmm. I will cast an aura prowess, which allows us to go get another basic aura type, reveal it, and place it into our chapter. So flame, we have revealed, and we already placed an aura for the turn, so that'll just go into our hand. Aura prowess goes to the cemetery. All right, and uh, yeah, I mean, hmm. All right. I was hoping for some pyrokinetic blasts, but we have another option. Um, hmm. Generate one, make it three, uh, two spirit, one flame, and we will contract Bell Witch. So, Bell Witch is a beastie witch, one per spell, but contraction cost one neutral, two spirit, life points 30, has fleet, magic proof, and is a spirit. So, It can use the power right away. The power of the haunt begins. It cannot be the target of attacks, and it cannot be the target of spells. can still be the target of powers and potions. 10 damage bonus if the Nighttime Terra or Suburban Terra is in play. Arena, roll a dice after awakening your pages at the beginning of your turn. If the result is not a 1 or a 6, this page must declare an attack immediately. The haunt begins as the power. Once per turn, contract any spirit pages in your cemetery. Place that spell into your afterlife. So, with that, I will... If I wanted to attack, I have to attack Enfield. Mm -hmm. That's true. And at the moment, my aura is exhausted. Um, Enfield would strike back for 40, 
killing a witch unless you paralyzed which that is just such a risk mm -hmm. um and it's a risk that we're going to take so i'm going to attack enfield okay and i'm going to flip first to see if he's paralyzed heads he will be paralyzed tails the witch is going to die it's heads heads you enfield's got paralyzed we deal 10 damage the base attack plus two poison counters so it'll be a total of 50 by the time a turn or two goes and with that pass okay i'm gonna tick up the poison damage to 30 on mm -hmm. enfield yep bookmark a page awaken get a poison counter on there bring a cosmic aura make it two since he's poisoned two times into the arena um Hmm. He's awake. Oh, I yeah, he's awake. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I will. Is that Price is Right? Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> Rob Rodney. I'm going to generate four and contract a Reptoid Ruler. Reptoid Ruler <laughs> is a beastie alien. Surprise, surprise. You can have one per spell book. He costs one neutral, three cosmic aura. He has 80 life points. He has fleet and stone skin. He gets a 20 damage bonus from the city Terra, a 40 damage bonus from the stars Terra. Has two crazy powers, one of which is called alien invasion. All beastie aliens you control gain tribal boost until the end of turn. And the other one's called hidden influence. Target an opposing beastie and roll a dice. If the result is a three or a four, awaken that beastie and gain control of it until the end of this turn. If not, it cannot declare an attack next turn his attack is called forget everything and i apparently just forgot everything <laughs> that was awesome and uh he inflicts confuse and will deal 10 damage with that attack i am going to hmm i'm going to target bell witch with using her. reptoid ruler's power to try to get control of her mm -hmm. which by the way i can do first of all because enfield is paralyzed so he doesn't have to be the target second of all because the target of this must be an opposing beastie so um targeting bell witch hoping to roll a three or a four which would give you control you'd awaken her and mm -hmm. get control for the turn mm -hmm. whoa i rolled a four you got her wow okay. she's yours so she's awake now she's yours now i gotta think about this what are you gonna do um I will... You can basically use something from your cemetery or attack me. With her. I will bubbling brew her. So I'm going to deal her five damage and inflict her with three burn. And then I'm going to attack you, killing her. Um, <laughs> well, she has 30 life points. So that would make... She has 30? Yeah. Oh, she does have 30. You want to rethink that? Hmm. I'll give you the room if you want to rethink that. You oh, thought you had the, lot, the wrong life points. I mean, um, I'm giving. I mean, how else are you going to win if I don't give you the see. games? Hmm. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Huh. What is the play there? I thought for sure that there. would kill her. It would deal her. Get her down to five life points, huh? Um. Do you want to do that or do you want to have her just attack me? I mean, those are really your options. Oh, I guess you're attacking me either way. I you am. either save your bubbling brew or you use it on her. I won't tell you what to do. I'll shut up. Let you think. I'm going to use it on her. Okay. And I will attack you. All right. I take so damage. You will be taking damage and Ten, two poison and counters. Two poisoned. And she will take 25 damage. Yeah. She's got 25 damage on her. And then I will... And she's still burned. So um, if she were to attack again then she would die but that she can true. still use her power so there's a 50 true. well there's a 20 percent chance that she will die when you say pass turn if she must attack right so i will um let's see i'll use dark watchers reveal the top three. Oh, fresno is gonna be on top nice Mm-hmm. and um i will pass turn Okay, so Enfield has 50 damage on him. Mm -hmm. um, I, the caster, because of my two poison, I take 20, I loss of life. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in addition to you, whatever you did. You hit me with Bell Witch. I don't know if you add that in there yet. Nope, not yet. Okay, so 30 total. 
Mm -hmm. Um, Now, I have a question. So I'm going to bookmark here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to awaken. And actually, yeah, yeah. I guess I have to to awaken because I was out of aura. Mm -hmm. So right now, can I cast a fireball? No. I have to roll immediately after awakening is what it says. So I just want to see if there are some Mm -hmm. immediately is pretty. Yeah. That's pretty cut and dry. I'm still going to test the line of immediately. Of course. (laughs) Just to see if it's really immediately. All right. Here we go. We definitely want a one or six. She does not have to attack. We want a one or a six. We want a four. One or six, folks. Four. Come on. Six. Six. We got it. Amazing. (laughs) Oh my goodness. By the way, this burn is down to two. And by the time she comes back, she won't be burned. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm-hmm. So now we get to choose what we want to do with her. Um, he's got how many life points left? 25? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. The main threat here is that Reptoid Ruler. So I'll generate one and I will... Morpheus, sleep. You will actually Morpheus. No, and I feel- won't. I won't. I won't. Let me please, for the love of... Please, God, I just said I have to do this the right way. You did. And I'm doing it the wrong way. You've got to be kidding me. How am I this? <sighs> Let's play fair. I'm Morpheus Enfield. <laughs> okay. Sad Cracks is back. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Are you serious that it's really the brain can't <laughs> generate one fireball? Okay. Mm. No, man. No. He's going to be able to take over my Bell Witch again potentially next turn now. Because that was my only Morpheus. And I, I had the fireballs, by the way, to end Enfield's life just by fireballing and attacking him with Bell Witch. And he would have been gone. And now my Morpheus is gone. And so is my sanity. Yeah. I did the exact same thing yesterday. And yep. I did the exact same thing two days Enfield ago. Enfield is such a bitch, guys. He's such a bitch. Enfield fuckface. And fuck failed face. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll stop swearing. Actually, I can't promise that at this point. So go hide the kids. Once Sad Cracks comes out, it gets pretty profane, guys. Why am I not Sad Cracks at this point? <laughs> it's all so sad. what else are you doing? <sighs> Come on. Um, I use her power. I, I cast Morpheus. I have that ability. I just realized. Morpheus, the reptoid ruler. Okay. All right. I didn't have to be that dramatic. I still got what I wanted. It just took longer. And I don't know if I placed the uh, or in the arena this turn. You also have to pay for that Morpheus. I, I did. No, you paid for the Morpheus you cast on Enfield. I am paying for it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I brought an aura or not. I don't think I did, but turn, I take 20 loss of life okay. from the poison. The poison lasts two turns, I believe, or mm-hmm. no? Yes. Yep. Two turns, you can have up to three poison at a time. All right. Okay. <sighs> um, going to... Enfield. Generate two contract Fresno Nightcrawlers. Fresno Nightcrawlers is a beastie alien. You can have two per spell book, costs two cosmic aura, has 40 life points, has the spirit trait and the fleet trait, gets a 25 damage bonus at nighttime. When Fresno Nightcrawlers enters the arena, you must reveal any number of non-cosmic pages. You may reveal, sorry, any number of non-cosmic pages from your chapter and shuffle them into your spell book. You may then bookmark an equal number of pages from the top of your spell book. I am going to do that. I'm going to reveal a tribal war cry and I'm going to shuffle it back into my spell book. Okay. Uh, while you do that, I would not have been able to carry out my plan that I just got all pissed off about because if I would have attacked with Bell Witch, she would have died because she was burned. True. So, That's true. yeah, I, I still would not have used that Morpheus because, again, multiple fireballs. So that would have been the direction to go. I could have ended his life. But. Had I declared that attack, I think I would have been even more devastated. So mm-hmm. the lesser of just being sad is sad, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm going to bring an aura in for turn. I will generate three. I think I just have to do this because otherwise she's going to be a problem. 
transfigure the Bell Witch, turn her into a 10-10 sheep, Magi losing proof. all... Magi proof. Oh, yeah, true. Target beastie. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. You're right. Um, okay, I'll generate four. Instead, I will just end field. <laughs> That's fine with me. And I will attack you for 50 with Fresno, and I will Dark Watchers... Okay. Yep. You got me. And now you're doing your Dark Watchers thing. And we've got, all right, lighting the bottle, bubbling brew, Dark Watchers. And, um, mm -hmm. I would have had to fatigue one more for Enfield. And then I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. I know he's got that trans configuration now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to immediately roll. She's not burned anymore. We got a five, so she has to attack Enfield. So we attack Enfield, and we flip to see if Enfield is paralyzed. Please. It's the gold Ooh, coin. You got him. Never flip the gold coins, guys, if you want a tails. Stay away from this. It only lands heads. I forgot. Silver is for tails. Gold is for heads. She dies. He's also what, poisoned. What? What? Why does she die? Oh, I got heads. She, uh, everything is the opposite when I say things. My brain hurts. Mine does. Okay, so much. So too. Enfield I'm is sorry. paralyzed. Bell Witch is alive. Yes. What else you got? Jesus. I always think I want tails, even though I don't. I'm confused, <laughs> and because of the flips for the game, <sighs> I gotta slow down. Maybe I should stop drinking coffee. <laughs> okay. So, yes, 10 damage and also poisoned. Got it. You got it. Awesome. Poisoned too. So that happened. And we will place a Flame Aura in the arena. We know he's got a trans configuration because he almost played it, but he didn't get to. Um, we also know he's going to get a bubbling brew, so he's going to be able to wake up his Reptoid Ruler. Hmm, man, Nightcrawlers too? There is a lot going on in your favor right now. Okay, we will... Jude, I don't know what the right move is here. Like, generate... Hmm, man. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. I know that he's going to be woken up soon, and that's going to be an issue, because you can start grabbing my Bell Witch, you can start... I mean, there's so much you can start doing. Mm -hmm. But this guy's going to be the target of everything. He's paralyzed right now, he's got 10 damage, 2 poisons, so he's going to be taken down to 50 life points. Mm. And he's going to be the target of everything anyway, so... 25 damage to Enfield Monster. Okay. And I'll roll for Enfield's Burn. It'll be 5. Okay. And, you know, I know he's got the trans configuration, so <laughs> turn. All right. Enfield's going to tick up to 45 damage from the poison. I will bookmark a page. We'll count down his burn. I'll awaken. Oh, not so uh, you got the... 25 damage from the fireball, the 10 damage from Bell Witch, and the 20 damage. Mm, good call. 20 loss of life, excuse mm -hmm. me. Um, I will War Cry and Field. <laughs> we don't like that. So he'll be getting an additional 30 life and 30. Technically, he is awake, though. He's not asleep. Oh, yeah, he is awake, and that's true. He's just paralyzed. Um, Cool. So that'll help a little bit. I will... Hmm. Hmm. At this point, it's like, do I bubbling brew my Reptoid Ruler to wake him up, or do I bubbling brew and just kill the Bell Witch? I think it's smarter to just kill the Bell Witch, because she is all he has right now, and she's going to let him keep on casting spells repeatedly. Yep, we're going to bubbling brew the Bell Witch. Okay, now she's magic proof, but that's a potion, a potion. and that's why that works. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, and then I will use Dark Watcher's ability. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's go like that. All right. Well, that's going to be coming soon. And um, 
I'll attack you for 50 with Nightcrawlers. All right, you got me. Okay, pass turn. He's dead. No, he's not. He loses 20 life. Yep. And so, he has shit. 115. Shit. war cry. Yep. Oh, man. So he's at 75 damage. Mm hmm. 115 life. Mm hmm. Hmm. Right? 115? No, 105. 105 life. So he has 30 life right now. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. Mm hmm. And just a reminder Enfield was paralyzed, so he didn't have to be the target of anything. And Bubbling Brew does not target. Just reminding people that is one of the cool things about Bubbling Brew. Mm hmm. All right. Um, I will. Place a. Is that the right move? I mean, the other one, this, that, no. Yeah. I don't think it matters. I will. All right. I got to check my cemetery. I know okay. he can new beginnings us. I've got a Gassy and a Thea in my hand. I got to get him out and do something with him, even if he dies. Because I don't want him to just go away. I also know Transconfiguration in his hand, so ideally what's mm -hmm. going to happen is I'm going to bring Gassy out, I'm going to lose him to Transconfigure, and then he's going to new beginnings. Mm -hmm. So he'll have a full hand. But either way, I'm going to lose him. I'm going to throw him to my cemetery, or he's going to die and go to limbo. So I just want to do something with him while I have him. And uh, yeah, I'm going to lose him either way. So we will... I just realized I could not bubbling brew my Reptoid Ruler to wake him up anyway, because he has stone skin. Oh. So damage outside of combat would be reduced to zero. So there is no waking up Reptoid Ruler with damage. Nope, not unless uh, I remove his traits. Are you sure that targeting him with a spell doesn't wake him up, or is it the actual damage? It's the damage. It is, yeah. for sure. Yeah, targeting him with an attack wakes him up. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of beasties over there who can do stuff. Uh, 25, 25... One, two, three, four. That means I can only cast one spell. Oh, no, I didn't set down Nora right. I'm, I'm debating on which order to set down. So I can cast two spells, and I've got a bunch of Pyrokinetic Blasts and Fireballs. I think Pyrokinetic Blasts are better than Fireballs, in my opinion, when it comes to Beasties specifically, because worst case scenario, they deal 25 damage and they burn. Best case, you get confused for the rest of the game on the Beastie. So for that reason, I will place a... Doesn't really matter. Flame or in the arena, I will generate four. Okay. And I will contract Gassy and Diethe. Mm -hmm. So, in case you guys are not familiar, contraction costs two neutral, two flame, life points, 50, two per spell book, 25 bonus to life points if the river terror is in play. During your turn, you may contract spells that share an aura type with aura pages that you control from your cemetery as if they were in your chapter. You may only contract each copy of a spell in your cemetery once per turn this way. Gassiendi Etha cannot gain traits. Eruption is the attack base damage 20. This attack deals plus 10 damage for each spell that was contracted during this turn. I'm just going to say deals, guys, because that's what it is. And... Um, we're not going to go into anything else. Yep. We're just going to say that and move on. All right. I generate one and I pyrokinetic blast Enfield for death. Nope. You pyrokinetic blast him to 100 damage. Oh my. Yep. No way. Yep. He's still, he's still alive. alive. He's got five life left. Oh, what a nightmare. So Gassy's dead no matter what. He only has 50 life points. The Nightcrawler's going to take him out. Mm -hmm. I can't stop that. I thought I could. I thought he was about to die. Did the math wrong. 105 life. Really? So he has 75 life normally. Mm -hmm. He and has plus 30 right now. So yeah, he's at 105. 105. Yep. All right. He's hanging on with five life. Hmm. Well... Yeah, that was the only thing I could do. I had to do it that way. I don't really have other options. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, oh, yeah, it doesn't go to afterlife. Just that's the one that we use for the turn. Mm -hmm. And now we'll power can and blast them again. Okay. Wow, that is, uh, that is a lot of pages for one beastie. I mean, guys, we... We power kinetic blast him already, right? We fireballed him. Mm -hmm. We brought out a gassy just to double power kinetic blast him already. He was also paralyzed by Bell Witch, damaged and poisoned. 
Yeah. Maybe maybe not all that happened to that Enfield, but no, I'm just but having horror with that's Enfield. why I play Enfield. He is a horror to deal with. Yeah. There are so many things it's so easy to forget that you're required to target him. And yep. Turn. All right. Goodbye, Gassy. Bookmark and a page. Awakening. Hello, trans configure mutation. <laughs> gonna bring a cosmic aura in the arena. Uh gonna swing a gassy for a fifty. Oh yeah, he doesn't have to use his trans configured whatever. Yeah. I just have my night crawlers. Dead. Um I will use Do I even Yep, I'll use Dark Watchers. Why not? It'll let me see what's coming. Uh cool. I'll just put him back in the same order. Generate one, New Year's, new beginnings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Throw away what we got. Draw seven more. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. I'll go two for another Dark Watchers. And I will... Generate two and I'll generate one and I'll tribal war cry my night crawlers. Okay. Lighting the bottle. And then I will. Yeah, I should probably just get in damage now while I can. So I'm on a lightning in a bottle twice. I'll hit you for 80. Okay. The night crawlers twice. All right. And I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. Hmm. Place a spirit aura in the arena. Get those a little tighter. And hmm. We will double aura prowess. Technically, they do happen one at a time. Just speeding it up for the sake of the game, allowing us to grab a basic aura type. We'll get a yeah. We'll get a spirit and we'll get a flame. Okay. And we already placed one for the turn, so those will both go in our hand. Or prowesses go to the cemetery. Okay. Well, what can we do over there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we will... Huh. Generate one. Power Kinetic Blast, the Nightcrawlers. Okay. 25 damage. Flipping for Confused or Burn. Off the table doesn't count. Flipping again for Confused or Burn. Tails, he is confused. Okay. And, uh-huh. Well, yep. We'll... <laughs> oh my god. I almost made a huge mistake. I almost played first anniversary, right? That's what it's called. Mm, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, right. You know what that does? It eliminates the stone skin on Reptoid Ruler, allowing him to bubble brew, deal that damage, wake him up. It's that, true. That card's not going to get played now in this game. I, there's no way. That's why I don't mind telling you I have it in my hand. Not a chance I'm playing it. So I am going to set it <laughs> in the back. And remember to not touch it. <laughs> Nor I keep anyway. I won't tell you everything about my uh, my micro interactions. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean he's gonna die potentially. There's a 50-50 chance he'll kill himself. Hmm. And these dark watchers, what do they deal? Ten. Mm -hmm. Ten base damage. I mean, they can also be tribal war cried or power up reddit, of course. Mm -hmm. um, what else do they have? The status effect indicators. Paralyze and confuse. Okay. Yep. Well, I can't play that spell. Wow. What a trip. I will generate another one. And... Pyrokinetic Blast, those Watchers. Okay. Ending their life, so we don't need to worry about them for now. Turn. All right. Bookmark and a page. 
awakening. I will use Dark Watchers. Oh, I wonder what he's going to put on top. Well, he's going to put Bookmark, right? He's mm -hmm. going to put Bookmark on top, so mm -hmm. that way he can draw into those two cards, mm -hmm. one of which is Power of Fred. And I will... Mm -hmm. Hmm... Yep, I'll swing with Nightcrawlers. We'll see how they do. Come on, guys. Come on! Focus. Don't focus! Ow. They but, killed themselves. Yes, they did. Okay. Um, and then I will... Hmm. 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 Don't think that would help me. No, I don't think that would help me. All right, well, I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. I know those Dark Watchers are going to become power up redded. We have to assume this because he has one. It's possible. So I'll generate one. And I wouldn't normally do this to a Dark Watchers, but I'm scared of that. I'm going to sleep the Dark Watchers. Okay. Uh, that goes in the cemetery. And I will place a spirit aura in the arena. And not going to play the first anniversary celebration. Turn. Okay. Going to bookmark a page. Uh, nothing to awaken. I will generate one and contract that bookmark that I just bookmarked. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's got the power up red now. <clears throat> Now, let's get tech. I'm going to generate three and turn my Reptoid Ruler into a 10 life point sheep until the end of turn who has no traits. And I will generate three and I will power up red that sheep to have 110 life points. And then I will bubbling brew oh, that sheep. My for 10 goodness, damage. Dude. And to now, wake him up. Here's what I'm really afraid of. I kind of saw that coming. I lost count of how many lightning in the bottles he drew between the new beginnings and the new year's new beginnings. So I don't know how many he has in his hand, but. So I've got a sheep who's swinging for 110 damage right <laughs> nah. now. Um, I will attack you for, well, uh, yep, that's what I got to do. I will attack you for 110. And. No response. Yep, let's just lightning in a bottle and do that again. So, 220. Okay, you got me. And then I'll pass turn. Okay. Bookmark. And now we're back to Reptoid Ruler. Nope. Yep, Caster's next turn, right? O awaken. Sorry, what are you saying? Yeah, he's no longer a sheep. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. He's now Reptoid Ruler. Generate one. Sleep him. Okay. Um, I know that's a chance. I know he's got a bubbling brew. I know that he can wake him back up. I just, you know, got to get through the cards. Uh, place a flame in the arena. Oh, yeah, and he lost. Damn. Burn. Actually, there's a better way to do that, guys. But there always is, right? So, turn. <laughs> Try not to do okay. takesy backsies. Bookmark and a page. Awakening. I will generate two and contract a purple blob of Philadelphia. I will generate one and contract a Kinderhook blob. And then I will generate one and tribal war cry, the Kinderhook blob. Okay. And then I will pass turn. All right. Bookmark. What's that one flame doing? Is that over now? Mm, yeah, that's that's off. Okay, cool. I will awaken. Hmm. hmm, hmm. So he has he has 30 damage, but he has a, a total right now of 150 life points remaining. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Okay. Hmm. And that blob's tribal work ride, right? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm hmm Well. Hmm. I don't have any pyrokinetic blasts, unfortunately. That's how we've been taking care of those tribal work ride beasties. I'm afraid of him pulling a bubbling brew. I don't know how many he has. You might have to check your uh, whatever yeah, go here. Go for it. This it is would... your limbo. So your bubbling brews in your limbo? 
No, two are in my cemetery. I just put one in my limbo by accident. Infraction. One more of those, and we win the game, guys. So he's got three. Now, I don't know how many he has in his spell book, but you can have up to five. Mm -hmm. So there's a potential that two more times this beastie gets woken up and can still do damage. Wait, no. Because he needs to remove all the traits of yeah. the stone skin yeah, I'm just in order to deal the damage. That. Yeah. No, I, I'm working through it. Transconfigure, mm -hmm. mutation, ration. What is it really called? Transfiguration. Cool. Uh, trans con transfiguration. Yep. yep. Thank you. Well, you know what? If he has to use another one of those to use another bubbling brew, that's two cards. It's two turns. He's got to save up for that. So with that in mind, I'm, I am going to take a bit of a chance here. I'm going to generate one. And how many life points does he have? 50. Hmm. I'm going to Morpheus this blob in the back. Okay. And... Yeah, but that's he's going to gain it. I'm not going to do anything to that blob. The blobs are the ones I like to Morpheus because they get so big. It's just ridiculous. Uh, turn. Okay. Blob's going to continue to grow. I'll bookmark a page. Because the blobs gain life, guys. Because gain is permanent. Everywhere you see gain, it means it lasts the entire game. Mm -hmm. Except for one page, which was printed accidentally. And I don't think we should make a new mechanic for an error. But hey, that's just me. Gain should be gain. Not not gain. Okay, I'll pass turn. <laughs> Bookmark. Awaken. Uh, um, asleep, asleep, asleep. Life points again. You have 70. To, did you gain it? Mm -hmm. So he's at 70 right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Generate four. Contract Adam Ackler. Okay. So Adam Ackler... One per spell, but contraction costs four neutral. Life point 70. Has fleet, so he can attack right away. 25 bonus if the nighttime terra is in play to his attack. 25 bonus of the life points if the daytime terra is in play. Did I say intact? I don't know. Okay, don't worry. Yep. Um, contract. Choose day. Choose light or dark for this page's aura type. Lose nighttime terra bonus if you choose day. Lose the daytime terra bonus if you choose dark. I'm going to choose dark. Sublimation, 50, is the attack. And this page deals plus 20 damage if you choose dark and inflict scared. So now I will attack and kill the blob. Okay. You got him. Turn. All right. Bookmark and a page. Uh, nothing to awaken. I'll pass turn. Bookmark, awaken, and blob back here, life points. Uh. Uh, 45, right? Oh, no, 75, 65, sorry. 65 life points. Yep. And Adam is swinging for 20 and scared. I'm sorry, 70, 70. and scared. So he would kill the blob. Mm -hmm. So I will have Adam attack and kill the blob. Okay. And then I'm going to generate three and... <laughs> Piazza Bird, one per spell, but contraction cost three flame. This is the Walmart promo Piazza <clears throat> Bird, by the way. 90 life points, has flying, 20 bonus to the attack of the suburban or city terrors in play. Upon contraction, unless you roar like a dragon, destroy this page. Flame spiral is the attack, base damage 60, inflicting six burn. If you have less than 100 life points, this attack deals plus 60 damage. So Piazza is in the arena. Okay. Turn. All right. Bookmark and a page. Um... I will contract a Kinderhook blob. I will transfigure Piazza Bird. Oh, yeah. I will lightning in a bottle, oh, and man. I'll kill him. I will Smoky Spirits. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, pass turn. Uh, Smoky Spirits ends combat immediately, so no damage was dealt. Piazza's still a sheep, though, until uh, the end of your turn. Bookmark, is that so? Mm-hmm. Aw, all right, a little cheap. Okay. Um, really? Yep. Till the end. Can I see? Yep. Uh, until the end of their caster's next turn. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Then I will. Well, I uh, drew into generate one. I will cast bookmark, allowing me to draw two more pages. 
I will play an aura prowess, basic aura type, reveal it, <clears throat> place it into my hand, and because we didn't put an aura in the arena, it'll go into my hand, and then I'll just place it right into the arena. Um, I will... Blob's life point's 35? 45. 45. I will attack and kill the blob. Okay. And... It's a 10-10 sheep. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have any of its like status or anything. It's just no. a 10-10 sheep. Yep. I'll... At I'll attack you for 10 damage. Okay. And then I, when I pass, he'll become a piezo bird again. Mm -hmm. Turn. Okay. Bookmark a page. Turn. All right. Probably going to concede this pretty soon. All right. Bookmark. Awaken. Um, attack you for 60 plus 70. Okay. Turn. 835. Let's see what you got for me. Turn. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Bookmark, awaken, uh, same attack coming through your way. Okay. For that 150, turn. Okay, bookmark on a page. Uh, 130, I believe, right? Uh, it's 60 plus 70, which no, would be 130. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, drop a cosmic aura, turn. Bookmark, same thing, 130. Okay. Turn. Bookmark, turn. Uh, awaken, or bookmark first, sorry guys, then awaken, same thing, 130 coming through. Okay. Beasties do attack one at a time, guys, we're just speeding it up to get to the end of the game. Turn. Uh, generate two, I'll contract a Fresno, and I'll attack Adam. Smug spirits. Okay. And, um, pass turn. Bookmark, awaken. Pyrokinetic Blast, the Nightcrawlers. Okay. 25 damage. We will flip to see if they are burned or if they are confused. They are confused. Um, but you know what? Let's just generate another one. Pyrokinetic Blast. Okay. Another 25 damage just to get them out of here. And then I'll attack for that 130 again. All right. Turn. Bookmark on a page. You coming out of this? Scooping. All right, that's, that's game, game, guys. Okay. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Good game. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are these are back and forth. You win one. I win one. You win one. I win one. It's finally happening. Mm -hmm. The uh, the universe's chaos is is harmonic. It is balanced. Symmetry. Shang Tsung effect. I'm younger. He's older. It happens. For it's now. It's real life. Yeah. It happens. Two people cannot coexist at the same rate of happiness. Yes. Mm -hmm. One is younger it's and science. one is older. It's, 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 it's total Shang Tsung science. Uh, you suck the soul from the person that you're playing that you kill. Uh, they, you know, die, which makes them the oldest. And you get a little life, which makes me the youngest for the, the You moment. guys know how it works. It's Shang Tsung. Yeah. And tomorrow's my birthday. So, hey. There you go. Somehow I'm born I'd before you. I want you to you, feel good on your birthday. And I'm, I'm younger than you. Thanks, bro. I feel great. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, with that... Thank you so much for watching. If you did make it this far, would you guys think about subscribing? Maybe click that little button. We're trying to make it to a thousand subscribers and then Don't we'll think shut about up. It. Just do it. We'll never ask you again. There is no try. There is only do. <laughs> click subscribe, please. It would it help helps. us. Uh, apparently YouTube hasn't even really been like pushing our channel out to the world yet. And once we hit a thousand, they will. And they're going to, I guess, send us penny checks in the mail or something like that. Either way, guys, we really appreciate all of your support, all your feedback. And if you happen to be shot at Channel Fireball and you feel like helping us out even more, use the code METABROS with a Z at checkout. Won't cost you anything extra, but we really appreciate it. Totally. And uh, just a reminder that you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com backslash metabros if you'd like to support us and our content a little more directly. And I guess that's it, guys. We love our patrons. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time on Metabros. Later, guys. Later, everyone.